one. Hi, everybody. Uh, uh, We're live. I'm, I'm sorry. I got to go now. I got to go. Sorry. I got to go. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> was that the president? <laughs> Yeah, don't don't mind that. It was either the president or your wife. Otherwise, you would never pick now up. Now I got to text talk. her. It was my daughter. Now I got to oh. text her. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I couldn't hear. My phone f sucks. Everything what sucks today. About? Oh, my, don't I say that. Hear my, can't hear my phone. It's like it's it's like you can't hear it. You got to put it on speaker to hear it. Oh. Uh, hmm. That's rubbish. Well, when you you know you, when you shove things in your asshole, that bad yeah. things happen. Did you look for it in your butthole? <laughs> Have you checked your butthole? Now I'm going to get a copyright it's by a Tom Cruise. Yeah, yeah, that's it's true. It's a good song if you don't know it. It's a yeah, great it's a good song. It's on YouTube. Go oh find it. Have you checked God, your butthole? It's so good. It's it's literally like I could watch it a hundred times. Tom Tom Cardi, go go find him on YouTube uh, and just watch all of his songs. It's They're brilliant. Uh, welcome to Trailer Talk, everybody. Uh, we're, we're missing Stephanie. Uh, she couldn't be here today, but we uh we will carry on without her um as best we can um maybe yeah, we'll be struggle for her honestly she's fired <laughs> she's oh fucking God. fired you're a fire, even know Stephanie. man she's fucking yeah. fired we didn't tell her <laughs> this is how she finds out people uh man. that's who's here today who's in the room there's loads charlotte maria us? erica patrick what's up steven oh my God, Matt, my other daughter's hello. calling your other daughter's <laughs> calling now is it an is emergency it really yeah, do you I don't know. Maybe I need okay? to. Maybe I need to check out for a second. Check. All right. Do you want to turn off your cam? Deal with, deal with fam stuff, dude. That's all good. Yeah, definitely. Right. They all start calling me. Mommy, it's oh dear, you're, she's you're, on the floor. You're loved. Oh my god! That's don't that. say that, PJ. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Hi everybody. Snyder, welcome, welcome, Snake welcome. Fantasy peace up. Is it peace up? All in the game. Sup? What's up? It should just be pea soup. Because that's all I think about. That soup is true. Uh, and speaking of soup, um, if you guys we are still have the uh, soup to Ukraine going on the charity, uh, if you want to donate soup to uh, to us, but it's actually not going to us, it's going to go to Ukraine. Um, you can do that by clicking the button uh, or in the live chat uh, to donate. Um, all, all this while this video is up, we're going to be keeping this thing going while Ukraine's de dealing with their business over there. Uh, hopefully kicking Putin uh, to the curb. And um, anyway, <clears throat> don't want to dwell on it, but if you do want to give, uh, we appreciate it, and it will all go to charity. Uh, nice. To help you win. Hi, Luke. Yeah, it's very cool. Uh, to, today, guys, we, uh, you know, I, it, we, we've been doing a lot of nerdy stuff, which is cool, uh, but I, it's been a while since we did a comedy trailer, and I'm in the mood for a comedy. Like, I yeah. don't know what it is. I think it's the state yeah, of the world too, that we're I'm in. cranky. Yeah, and PJ's cranky, and I mean, look at Pagan. She's it's just it's just it's just depressing. Um, so I think we Pagan just need always it. looks pretty though. She's just she always does. there. And just... She's like the only reason Hi, the world is full of roses, show. little piggies, and babies. <laughs> little piggies. <laughs> little baby piggies that go boink boink. Oh, stop! They're so boink, cute. Boink. I know they're not even like in my like eyesight, boop. but oh, it's so cute. Go boop. <laughs> Boop, boop, dead nose. Boop. Uh, boop, 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 <laughs> And I bought the URL boopme.com. <gasps> did you really? No, I did. Mm -mm. No, boop that's me? that's probably a porn site. But is it I cute got porn? Lots of, I got mm. lots of you know, URLs that I just don't know why I have them. Lots of porn I'm drunk, URLs. You know, when you go, when you when you are when you you're drunk and you start buying URLs because you think you're really smart. I think you should buy the <laughs> URL boop the snoot. Thing. You got to boop the thing. snoot, and then you got to just go up to random animals. Like, if you see someone walking their dog, you'd be like, hey, is that friendly? Yeah, you can come over and say hi, and you go over and you boop the snoot. I think I bought mm. boop the snoot, too, to be honest with you. Just boop saying. the snoot. Wow. Boop, boop I got a lot snoot. of them. Listen, I got a lot I mean, of them. My wife Where'd was you guys so go? I can't see you. Just you have a wife? I that. thought you like got my, my, Well, I mean, you know, we'll see if it continues. But uh, when we went on safari, uh, <laughs> there's something about when you're on safari, like she would take photos and every time the animal would turn around and it's like, it, so she has like a ton of photos of animal butts. And she's like, I'm just going to make an animal butt Instagram. <laughs> Actually, like, yes. yes. I was like, and she was like, you know, they're kind of cute. You know, like, <laughs> you know, I was like, okay, you know, I did one of my butt and it didn't go it. anywhere. So I don't think she no, should. No, she, uh, listen, the camera broke when she took that photo. Oh. Uh, it was not mm. pretty. It was weird. Upsetting. Um, my, I don't know uh, how to segue out of this. Thank I'm you, Charlotte, go for uh, the super Ukraine. Yes. Well, butt jokes, you. butt jokes are definitely in the aptow world. 
That's true. Judd Apatow. 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 Appetizer. Apatow. Appetizer. Apatow. Uh, man, the guy is has a. I mean, do you guys like Judd Apatow films like Forty Year Old Virgin, um, yes. uh, King of Staten there's, Island, Knocked Up? I mean, yeah. There's never one I don't like. Yeah, right. They're all pretty Banks solid. Fantasy. Pretty, yeah, they solid. are all pretty solid films. They. Uh, I mean, they're they're a good relief. They're like you you get a giggle and it's a laugh and not, they don't take things too seriously, but. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. Well, he kind mm-hmm. of changed comedy, right? I mean, the Forty Year Old Virgin was like a new type of comedy in a way like it sort of was a bit like it's another hollywood group they all came up yeah, together that crowd yeah you know he had his own sort of take on comedy where you know whereas the uh uh what's the other kind of group where the like the seth rogan you know comedy is like another right, type yes. of comedy you know you know super and that's, bad and no that, right so um good. and and Apatow, his felt a little bit more i don't know not highbrow is the wrong word but just more like smarter comedy i guess uh you mm-hmm. know the 40 year old version yet cringy not the... yet very cringy like he, yeah. he oh, goes yeah. there yeah like you're like oh you went there you went there oh, okay okay <laughs> it's totally. that it's that comedy and discomfort though isn't it it's that comedy and cringe yeah. like um yeah. ricky gervais well, there's truth in comedy right yeah yeah like ricky gervais yeah it's good yeah call. um yeah, so I mean, so the bubble. I mean, I'll just give you the quick one-liner on his next film, The Bubble. Uh, it's a group of actors and actresses stuck inside a pandemic bubble at a ho- at a hotel and attempts to complete a film, uh, a, 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 a film, the sixth film in a franchise, um, Cliff Beasts. <laughs> so uh, you could tell this 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 is not just taking the name, itself. just yeah. the name, <laughs> Cliff Beasts. Like, have you ever lined up to watch Beast. a movie called Cliff Beast? Oh, I, no. I mean, no. Not even the first. Not, one. not a. Film. No, not just, even the first one. <laughs> I mean, like, I feel like this is sort of like making fun of halfway of Jurassic Park and like Sharknado, right? It's sort of like taking like Jurassic Park has almost has almost ventured into Sharknado territory, but not quite. You know, like it's sort of almost there. Mm. It's interesting Sharknado. you say that though, because I thought it was more taking the make of like um, Fast and Furious. You know how so oh, okay. many of those movies oh. are the same? And they have like it's the it's the poster, like it's the poster yeah. for Cliff Beast Six yeah. that I'm like, this is very fast and furious. So and then it's like Cliff, Cliff yeah. Beasts Four was in space, and I'm like, Oh yeah, no, this is very fast and furious. <laughs> like Fast yeah, and yeah. Furious. They're, they're, what bugs me about that is people make love in their bras, yet Chinese gangs go through the streets with machine guns off the back of the motorcycles. Yeah. yeah. Two things that are just not real. Hollywood friend. Like what the fuck? Hollywood we can friend. murder people with can guarantee machine guns, but we can't see titties. I'm just I'm yes, ridiculous. over that. PJ needs his titties, everybody. So if uh, if you're listening, like, I like Nobody realism. Wears these like days. that, I have a, yeah. Like what the fuck? Not to bet anyway. <laughs> and they're always black, Truth. and they're always the same kind. I mean, it's like there must be a the bra bras, company that yeah. sells it for the for the show. Yeah. Well, they're they're just the most like unidentifiable yeah, brand oh. ones. So you could have like a Wonder. I mean, Robin I wear a black bra during sex, but that's right. just to protect my partner. You know, it's like it's a it's, it's a the fair nipple chafing. Thing. We understand. Yeah, yeah. don't worry about it's it. It's cold in the house. You yeah, know, you know the nipples it's okay. really they cut diamonds. I don't know. I just don't um, like it when movies are like that. Noted. This movie is probably not going to be like that because there's probably no nudity in this movie. <laughs> I, I yeah. I mean, I mean, maybe. I mean, let's. I let's don't think there is. Not. Probably, Probably not. not. Um, it looks great. I'm not though. watching it. I've only seen like the the Cliff okay, Beasts stuff. The, like the Cliff Beasts clips on Netflix. You know when you go into Netflix yeah. now and it's like coming first of April, and then it's the Cliff Beasts trailer. Yeah. So just seeing that, and I'm like, that is top notch quality. Yeah, I mean, you, you can't talk about this film without talking about the marketing behind it that Netflix is doing, which is like they're really leaning into the the meta verse of this uh, yeah, they film, copied right? Content. Yeah, the the movie within a movie, right? Yeah, they copy comment. We should they copy comment. Right. That was ours. Yeah. let's sue them, Judd. We're but I didn't you. know this was called the bubble until you sent it to me, and I was like, "What the heck is the bubble?" And I had to right. look it up, like Google it. But yeah. I was like, "Oh, Cliff Beast is not real." <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh. Well, I, I think there was even like a, a I don't know if it was a Super Bowl spot. There was a big TV spot that was like Cliff Beast coming. Yeah, they market like, it like as Cliff Beast. Trailer. So I thought this yeah, was like, Cliff Beast Six. 
and and then and everybody thought it was a joke because obviously april april 1st april 1st mm -hmm. yeah uh, april fool's day so there's there's been a lot of marketing where netflix is putting out cliff beast is coming you know cliff beast six everybody's like six like where's this there is the other five uh and then they finally like the bubble trailer finally launched and it kind of tied it all together uh which is great so ah. um i think this is a good this is a good opportunity let's i kind of want to let's uh, go let's let's jump into it let's go let's jump in let's jump in all right Cue that let's puppy press up. play the bubble official trailer. Oh, okay. Three, oh, oh. <laughs> two. Are you ready, PJ? Go. Go. Oh, no Pelman drop. A different kind of. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Aha. <laughs> that sounds like a baby crying for its mama. <laughs> That is great. Ah! <laughs> I love that they've cut to the studio. Production of Cliff Beast Six. Thank you oh for joining us in our bubble. Please make sure you're wearing proper PPE. Physical touch is of course. Oh the yeah, COVID tests. So mm -hmm. Oh, I love him. Eyes at each other. I'll show you what that looks like. Kick <laughs> sweet eyes. Oh. <laughs> This is so Wonderful! It's like my movie posters have come to life. Man, this cast is huge. Yeah. Holy shit! We are one of two movies in production right now. If we fail, the studio is going to go down. I'm not a magician. I know you're not a fucking magician. If you were a fucking magician, you'd pull a movie out of your ass. Oh my god, it's Minnie Driver. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's a star. Fucker. I love her. This movie's gonna make the world forget mm. about all their problems. Yeah. What we're doing is edgy. Yeah. It's real. <laughs> Krista just did a fucking TikTok with a dinosaur. Yes. Hey guys, I don't feel so good. Some of you tested positive for influenza. Oh wow. Oh wow. Which is the good virus? Oh, David, you copy? Oh, you know this level of vomit. I like the switching between the CGI. Totally. Oh, <laughs> he just snort cocaine off his head. head. Amazing. Hello, I'm Doctor Strange. Oh I don't like it. Stop being Benedict Cumberbatch. Oh, That's amazing. Oh shit! This cast. Wow. <laughs> oh no. It is getting real on Cliff Beasts. <laughs> this looks fantastic. Are you nervous to meet the dinosaurs? Mom, they're not real. I thought there was an elephant wearing a mask or something. <laughs> an elephant wearing a mask. <laughs> amazing. Wow. Uh, I smiled the whole amazing. time. Amazing. Oh, wow. Cool, right? oh, wow. That's awesome. That yeah, was I would totally watch that. I hope it that doesn't suck. No I don't think baby. it'll suck. <laughs> I hope it doesn't suck. <laughs> That's probably the nicest thing you've said on this show, PJ. <laughs> yeah. it, so it, it, it confused me just enough to go, okay, I got to see where it's going here. And they, yeah. they kind of gave it away with the breach. Uh, I might have left uh, that out of the. I might have left that out of the out of the trailer. Out of the trailer. Is this the yeah. first but trailer? you don't know. You don't know how it'll wrap up, right? Like you know, like does it just yeah. does they make the movie or does it just go? I always flames, like to yeah. watch a trailer. And then they give me something that was not in the trailer that I did not expect coming. You know, that what they do lazy now is they cut the people's words. So you think they're meaning or saying something else. And then you watch right. the, the movie and it's like, oh, no, he really meant the opposite of that. Mm -hmm. I, I like it when they leave something out and then they give you a twist. Then I feel like, ooh, wow. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> ah, the twist. Wow. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm very excited to see this. Like, like at little, one point, it was like Pedro Pascal given a fucking adrenaline shot straight to the heart. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no. yeah that was good. It gets, it's it's very, like it real gets Pulp chaotic. Fiction type Pulp shit. Fiction. Like, yeah. that's great. There's gonna be some yeah. so many like homages, I think, to like nods to older films. I reckon. Big cast. Oh, yeah. Is that his yeah. daughter that's in it? Yeah, Iris yeah, Apatow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Iris named him after named her after a camera. And the um. Their other daughter, Maud, I believe, or is in Euphoria. Friend. At the moment. So who is, what's, who, sorry, I uh, cut, cut, cut you off. Judd Apatow and uh, Leslie Mann's daughter, their, their other daughter, Maud, I believe, is in 
uh, Euphoria. Unless it's oh, unless really? it's actually Iris in Eu- in Euphoria, I should probably. Oh, I like Leslie Mann. I I always yeah. like the movie she's in. She has this yeah. vulnerability about her. That what was that movie? What was that movie where she was in competition? There was a divorce they were going through. She's just so good. I really she's yeah, a really underrated <laughs> actress. Leslie Mann. Yeah. Yeah. She's yes. fantastic. I, I like her a lot. So great. I mean, the cast in this is just, uh, oh, I mean, oh. I mean, it's a Judd Apatow film. So, I mean, it's just going to, it's. Everybody it, lines up to work with him. Yeah. I mean, Karen Gillian, Gillian is in there. She's Pedro tall. Pascal. Have you ever stood next to her? Have you ever stood next Gillen? to her? Karen I've seen yeah. her. Yeah. She is tall. She's tall. No, she I have never stood next to her. I hung out. I would probably melt. I hung out with her once in the green room and I, she <laughs> was like, I was like, oh, wow, hey, wow. I didn't say yeah. you're fucking tall. I said, hi, nice to meet you. Bloody <laughs> that, blah. That's nice. Thank, thank. That's good. You're learning. <laughs> I almost uh, said, "Can I climb you?" But that would have been really inappropriate. <laughs> that would have not gone well. Yeah, security, yeah, yeah. Um, escort him out. And I mean, we all know Karen Gillian. I mean, she's famous for uh, Doctor Who and also Guardians of the or Guardians of the Galaxy, Avenger Marvel films. Mm. Uh, but uh, yeah, Pedro Pascal, the Mandalorian himself, uh, is in this. Uh, Kate yeah. McKinnon. Um, I uh, love David her. Duchovny. I dude, I love David Duchovny. I'm so excited to see him. Uh, what was that again. TV series he had? I I watched that the thing X-Files. twice. It's so good. No, 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 no. Did you oh, ever Californication. watch it Californication? It was Californication. Yeah. God, awesome. I could just listen to that like a podcast. Yeah. Like the dialogue. Yeah. Oh, but that movie had a lot of titties. That had a, a lot show. of titties. It was a show. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah, did. Yeah. Yeah. I think like the first yeah. ten minutes of it. It's yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, okay. But um, that you could. That, that's a podcast. The, that dialogue is so good. Yeah. Well, and it was just a great inside look at uh, like Hollywood, like another look at yeah. Hollywood. Oh, a very where you, real. Very yeah, you had Entourage, real. which was sort of like the like the like very it's, it's, like, superficial it's, it's, view of yeah. it, and then you had it's, it's, David Duchovny. Twenty version, careers, of twenty years combined into drugs. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, did you uh, ever see what was? Uh, now I'm going off the thing here. Did you ever see a Canadian show called Letter Kenny? Oh, no, before. but I've seen the clips of that. That is fucking yeah. funny. The dialogue in that you have to rewind it just to, what did he say? <laughs> it's like, it's like a, it's like a professional yeah. ping pong match. Yeah, oh, really. it's very, it's very hard to understand. Like, I don't know. Is it, is it the way people talk or something? Like, I don't, I don't know. No, it's a little exaggerated. Like you're like somebody from, you know, Northern Minnesota or something, but just the banter is like, how do they practice that? Just watch the first episode, Drew, just to, just to catch that yeah, banter. It's I know, I insane. It. There's yeah, a scene yeah. that like my friends quote all the time. And it's the scene when they're discussing um, like porn or sex in a movie or something like that. It's the sounds that they make. <laughs> do you oh. ever see that scene? Man, because the guys are all going just... uh oh yeah or something like that and the girl just goes oh fuck <laughs> I just thought it's one of the funniest the scenes really out there good. oh man it's no great way. we yeah, quote man, it all the good. time so good i'll see no, if i can like find that scene out. it's so funny also i like how matt kalo is just uh putting your 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 lines and quotes he has uh uh, that had a lot of titties, <laughs> PJ Harzma, 2022, and then he also has. Uh, I hope it doesn't suck, <laughs> PJ Harzma, 2022. You got a, you got a lot of good one-liners going on. Uh, today. Let's save those. We'll, we'll publish a book, we'll, redbearpublishing.tv. We'll, 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 this is like PJ unrelated, but yeah. this is that is the clip that I'm talking about. It's called sex sounds or porn sounds, and the guys okay, are like, yes, it up, yes, bring yes. It up. It's Let's watch so it. Bring it up. fucking. Oh, okay, uh, I'll, yeah, all right. You play it. Come on. Yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit. Huh. Snape Fantasy, God, my husband and son are obsessed with Letterkenny. Uh, so, I, yeah, I guess I need to watch this or we need to we need to. It's really good. Out. Oh, no, I thought you were, we were going to all watch it. I've together. linked it in the chat in in main chat. So click on it and then we'll I'll press play together and I can I'll actually show it on on stream. Okay, hold it's on. very funny. It's not I'm like that's not actually what it's called. It's called like the porn sounds or sex sounds or something. Okay, but yeah, I'm this ready is when you are. Uh, this is it. So three, two, one, press play. You want to get that nut? She's that crazy. Boy. That black girl's crazy. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes, no, yes. don't tell me this is like, yes, 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 Ah, fuck. Ah, It's the ah, fuck that gets me, man. It's so funny. Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck. Hold on. There actually is a whole scene. Hold on. So how'd you make out? Ah, here it is. Hold on. I'm putting a new scene in chat, and then I'll play it on, on stream. This is the actual full scene at the at 
at the cart, whatever cart they're sitting at for fruit, and they're talking about the sex sounds. Okay, I'm playing it. Play. So how'd you make out, Super Chief? You find the missing Goldie Link? You can call him Goldie Love. It's better to Goldie let this go before I Goldie lose my shit. Oh, take your drink, you Goldie Lush. I don't understand it. So there's no toker in them, then? It's impolite to kiss and tell. Something wrong with a little stank on the hangdown. Nothing wrong with a little takes it out in the trades. A little hizzing in the skizzing. Hell, I know there's nothing wrong with a little going to the boneyard. I know that. Nothing wrong with a little bacon making. Nothing wrong with a little shot twixt winds and waters. A little building the blanket monster. Hell, I know there's nothing wrong with a little pituitary poke. I know that. Nothing wrong with a little making the beast with two backs. <laughs> making feet for children's stockings. Testing the tube steak. Look, I know there's nothing wrong with a little crawl up the skin slide. I know that. Nothing wrong with a little. He yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Just pump the brakes right there. I got a question. Have at her. Then I got a comment. Well, let's hear it, good buddy. Now, my question. When have you ever heard a girl go, yes, 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 yes? Well, yeah. Other than in a porno. I hope chat is enjoying this. <laughs> I don't believe I have. Me neither. That's because we don't right. say that. Well. Not unless it's in a porno. Now, my comment. You see, the way Derry did the yes, 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 is not the way they do the yes, 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 and in pornos. That's the way they do it. The girl gets all excited and she goes, he, yes, 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 yes. Yes, but the way you're doing the yes, 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 yes is, is not the way they do the yes, 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 yes. It is the way they do it. They go, he, yes, 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 yes. That's exactly how they do no, it. No, they don't. What they do is they find a super high pitch for those first four yeses, and then they come in all dramatic for that final yes. So it goes a little something like, yes, 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 and then they get all dramatic for that final yes, say yes. <laughs> I don't think that's how they do it. I'd have to hear it again. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, porno girls do that, but only when the porno guys aren't busy finding some super low tone and repeating over and over again, ah, oh, fuck, ah, oh, fuck. I take a bit of offense to that, Miss Katie, as I have a naturally low voice, and I do likes to say, ah, oh, fuck, ah, <laughs> oh, fuck, except when I don't do it in pornos. Well, then you should do voiceovers for English dub foreign That's pornos, Dan, because that was a textbook, ah, oh, fuck, ah, oh, fuck. Well, thank you, Miss Katie. I've never had any complaints from any of my sexual companions about my, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. <laughs> Let me hear yours, Derry. I'm confused still on the uh, yes, 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 yeses. So, Wayne, it's like, uh, he, yes, 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 yes. Well, see, it's not as if it's a fucking question, Derry, is it? You're saying like it's a question. So it's like, he, yes, 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 yes. You're getting closer, Derry, but see what you want to do is put a little pepper on the end of it. You just want to put a little pepper on the end of it. Like, yes. Uh, he, he, yes. Oh, fuck. Like, yes, 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 yes. Like yes, 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 I'm so sorry for anybody who's just chimed in. That is not the trailer we're watching. We just tangented super hard to Letter Kenny. <laughs> uh, that is such a good show. That is such a good show. Oh, God. Oh, wow. But this film looks great. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what are we talking about? Anyway, what were we talking uh, about? Uh, Drew, no, are you going to watch it now? Huh? Are you gonna, are you, Drew, are you going to watch it now? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Drew is working. Drew's Drew took the opportunity watch. to get some work done. Now. <laughs> I, 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 I actually I spilled tea and I was like cleaning it up, so I was half paying attention. Uh, <laughs> He's lying. Was it like, was oh, the shit. sounds they got to him. <laughs> <laughs> you had to clean up something else. Yes. Yes. Uh, no, but for real, I actually think the trailer for um for the bubble is probably like just really well done and like you said the marketing of this like i really did think it was cliff cliff b6 on on netflix and the reason i i did see that is because of their like their um they have a trailer for cliff b6 on netflix like right now as you go in and i know what you're saying because you're like there's six of these like where are the other six i thought it was just something that i missed out on i was like oh i've missed this somewhere i may go watch the other four or five and I will fall down that rabbit hole. I'm definitely like that. I'll just be like, sure, I'll watch five shit films to watch this sixth shit film. <laughs> I'm, I'm down. I've got time. Yeah. I mean, it's how do you have time? You're a newlywed. 
I know. Well, I have time. Adam teaches between 7 and 10 every day. I have yeah. time. There you go. Yeah, yeah. see? No, there you go. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, but I, th- I think this looks very funny. I'm very, I'm very into the, the meta of making a movie about making a movie. I love that. Yeah. I, I, well, I mean, let, let, let's throw a quick question. I mean, it is talking about the pandemic. I mean, is it, is it, is it yeah. too close to home? You know, like, are you guys like, there's a lot, there's going to be a lot of no swabs in here. We're a lot of PPE masks, a lot of jokes about, you know, a I didn't see the individual killed, killed a lot of people. Um, mm. you, know, you know, so, I, you know, is, I mean, I just want to play devil's advocate. I, I'm definitely in for this. Uh, I, I don't, I don't feel that way, but I, I, I want to get your all's take on like, is this, is this going to hit in a place where you're kind of like, is the comedy that going to be there to, but you're kind of watching it and thinking like, Oh, but this is a bad thing. Like what just happened to the world and we're making a joke about it. If you the, Hollywood took it to an absurd level, right? Like way back in the beginning, they had the unions pop in, and there was all these union meetings, and nobody knew what was happening. How we even started a company for a, for a day, uh, and then you know, seeing pictures from the set where people are in their own individual <clears throat> zipped up uh, tent with their chair in there, and they zip it up, and they're, they're, that only in there could they take their mask off. And then when they, someone had to come and unzip it, they'd have to put their mask and everything back on and then walk to set. And then it was all remote camera. I mean, it got, it got bonkers there. So it was absurd. So I think if they, they lean to that, I mean, were you on the shoot we had where we had the, no, not, not the big one we just did, but before that we had a, a COVID person on there and the, co- the person just kept walking around, pushing people apart during the commercial. Like, it was the weirdest thing. So I think they're going to lean into that absurdity where people are going to see the comedy in it. In my opinion, it looked that way. I'm definitely, yeah, I would I would agree. I'm I'm kind of the of the opinion that I'm like, if you can't laugh about it, like, you're just going to cry about it. And it's a horrible thing yeah. to have happened, and it's devastating to have lost so, so many people. Um, I understand that. But, like, there is, um, there's there's comedy in everything, and that's why there's dark comedies out there. Like, I just think that, Turning it into something positive that could like brighten someone's day or make them laugh is just such a good thing. And I don't think that it's like a too soon thing because I think they've done it very well. They're not calling it COVID-19. They're calling it like this influenza something. The symptoms are completely different. We don't even know if this is like um, a deadly illness or anything like that in in their um, context. Um, but I, I am definitely of the opinion that it's like if you, if you can't laugh about it, you would cry over it. So you might as well yeah. find uh, find the humor in it. Yep. Hey, Polly, yeah. it's always 18 plus. Always. <laughs> always oh, yeah. 18 always. plus. Yeah. Uh, don't bring your kids to uh, our channel. Um, yeah, you, you know, I hear you. You know, it, it's interesting when I was watching the trailer. I was like, it's like I'm smart. Like PJ said, I was smiling the whole way through. I'm laughing. But then there's that, that, that thing in the back of my head where it's just like, ah, you know, um, it, it's still weird to see like, a, 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 the world that we're living in right with this pandemic going on uh, but it, it's it, but i'm also sort of interested to sort of see it done in this comedic view i don't know if we've quite seen someone really t- t- this type of take on it where there hasn't been like hey i made a movie in a in a pandemic and it's two people in a room and they're uh, mm-hmm. having marital problems or whatever you know what i'm saying so I, I guess i'm 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 happy to be able to laugh about it instead of sort of be drawn into the drama of it whether it's like on a network television hospital show where they're like you know talking about like losing lives or you know you know what i'm saying like i feel like we're always they're ta- yeah. they're always media is always <clears throat> coming at us with it and it always seems very like t- to to beat us over the head with the message that like this is serious i yeah. think i'm ready for i think the world is ready for let's laugh about it a little bit um so um I'm surprised I, I, Hollywood had get the stars to wear masks for a whole movie. You know, like you're going to see very few movies about the pandemic. They want to be behind the mask for 90 minutes. True. Well, yeah, I mean, they found a way or, or like on at least on television, they found a way around it by like they like use the clear face masks. Right. Like the more like visual where they can mm-hmm. see their mouths and the face and, emote, and the emotion. DPs and the camera guys must love that. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's more like it's, I think it's more about an audio problem. Right. You, you know, it's how do you. So I saw one. So I don't know if it was Grey's Anatomy where they actually had mics like in their um, in, in their, their masks. Helmet, in their masks. Could have been. Yeah. It could have been Grey's. Yeah. They had what? Um, 
like microphones in actually mask. in their mask. Like so, like they had oh. like a full face mask, like a oh. glass or a plastic mask, and they had like a mic in there. So you know they Better. found ways around to kind of like getting good audio and the fish mm. showing their face. Uh, yeah, I mean, again, I mean, the the craziness that's going to go on here. I love, I love the you you mentioned uh, a pig in the. I hope I hope this is in the film as well as it's edited in the trailer, but where they're like showing a scene in the movie and then it cuts right to like them just in the green screen area being looking fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Like the guys like hanging out like the flying dinosaurs like on wires and they're just having commentary like in British British commentary like and their mouths are moving like it's the dino- like CGI yeah. dinosaurs. Oh my god, genius. The uh, the constant be flick between that is great. Sorry. It's got to be hard to act in those green bubbles. You know what I mean? Like without having any sort of yeah. thing to interact with, like it's got to be difficult. Yeah, I mean, like yeah, I get you in one way, especially for film actors. But I mean, if you have any sort of like um, theater acting or theater training or anything like that, it's I don't think it's as difficult. I think I think it's more difficult yeah. acting with like um, opposite like a, a tennis ball on a stick, like for example. That like Daniel Radcliffe did when Dobby was initially saying it was just a tennis ball on the stick. The same with like um, any like CGI creatures. I think that can be challenging. But I think overall, like on a green screen when you're just using your imagination, I feel like that's just really taking it back to the bare basics of acting and being creative and like living as a kid. Like we did it all the time when we were young. Why can't we do that now? So understand it. It's definitely challenging. But uh, you're never a kid? I I, I was never a kid. No. Yeah, I can't act with shit. I'm so glad I never got the bug. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's interesting. I wonder, because you hear some actors say like, oh my God, when they build the sets and I'm in it and uh, it just adds to the experience and it adds to like our ability to kind of create the world and character. But then you're right. I mean, yeah, like Dune. And then you have, but then you have like actors like that are used to like acting in a black box in a theater, you know, and it's sort of like, you know, um, you know, maybe they're sort of like, why do you, Hey, a list actor. Why do you need all that cool shit to bring out yeah. whatever you need to bring out? Uh, so I, 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 I see both sides. It's yeah, and you're you're working with the person, like you're working with um, another actor or a cast of actors, or anything like that is also well. yeah. That helps. If it was just you in a green screen, I'd say that would be very challenging for sure. And again, like trying to interact with CGI creatures, very difficult. Which is why I think it's very funny that they have got some sort of CGI representation in this film so that when they cut yeah. to the the green screen it is two guys on a harness dressed as like dinosaurs so good so funny i love that i think that's really really cool and creative i i like All that it. they they do the flip like when the girl is like obviously like suffering cuz she's really sick and she's she's hanging on the harness but they haven't shown you that they've just shown you what it looks like in cg where she's just she's like spinning, spinning in the air floating. like yeah. that's oh, like man, exorcism that's so type shit and you're like this yeah. is fucking funny bro <laughs> uh, yeah like, i don't think she's okay yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and david to copy is fantastic point. sorry that go ahead that stage that stagecraft tech that's going to replace green screen yeah, yeah, like tech? Doing but it's, it's just too expensive right now it's just oh, way too expensive. oh i see i see mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah yeah i mean there's a there's a scene that uh I, I'm, I'm curious pj if you ever had that experience have you ever snorted coke off of someone's bald head like uh especially <laughs> if it was keegan michael michael keel peel i'm afraid if i speak i will be incriminated but don't I incriminate done, yourself on youtube i you don't have need to do i've that. snorted cocaine off many different body parts mm, okay <laughs> there there we go see it, it, this is basic jet apatow knows what real life is uh, yeah it's hollywood. depicting hollywood at its finest really isn't it uh, 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 it's, yeah yeah so I, it, I thought that was and then you see him well. like back flipping through the hotel lobby or whatever uh amazing i think his like uh, his whole character is like um I do my own stunts. I'm this action hero, you know, this kind of guy. Like yeah. I fucking love that. So that when he like does the backflip and stuff, ah, it's so good. Like I think they're really all gonna yeah. have very typical tropes, um, that are associated with like those kinds of actors. You know, like the stunt guy and um, the comedy or whoever. Well, the director, the, the director going crazy in the room, and I love yeah. that guy by the way. The guy from Portlandia, I love. Yes. Him. Oh yeah. Uh, but he's but doing he, like the, he, the dinosaur him trying to be that. Yeah. <laughs> I was I, I was having a conversation yeah, once okay. with uh, who was it? It was uh, <laughs> wait. Oh, I guess a long time ago. Username. This is where PJ tells his Bruce Willis story. <laughs> Go. Yeah. It was a it was a it was an actor and uh, uh, and he went 
to do a movie and he was came back and he was very upset he goes I had a meeting with the director and the director came to me and he goes i put a lot of work into this this is your character and he handed him a book of pictures like he had bound it and printed it out and it was things like an orange a dog hmm. a puddle hmm. And it was oh. just these images, and it was it was a little book about like that big, and he get, and it, yeah, it was like, the fuck am I supposed to do with this? What the hell does this mean? I didn't, I'm a puddle. It was, so so I, that 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 type of director, yeah, yeah. they exist. They exist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hope to be one one day. Uh, yeah, I kind of just want to walk up to like somebody and be like, you know what? Just imagine you're a pony. Just ch channel that pony. Become one with that pony. Mm. Be and the then pony. deliver this scene I'm, I'm, about I'm your daughter dying. a serial killer. Dying. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. But a pony. Mm. But but like a My Little Pony. So you're happy about right. it? <laughs> and it has to be positive. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Also, look really hot. I know that you're like <laughs> yeah. that'll, 18. That'll go over really well. <laughs> yeah. But you, you got to play 26, okay? Yeah. It'd be great if you just lose like... We're also going to introduce know, your love interest pounds. who's 57. Um... Yeah gonna be great i could go all day hollywood <laughs> I, know, right? I remember what, what Andre did I see the other Sorry. day the, there was like a like it's the, the oldest dude and i was like that girl is way too young <laughs> like to be his love interest oh uh, man. So they're they're a little bad with that man they're yeah. a little bad with that a little like, 25 <laughs> 30 years or younger so and you know they're all, they're involved in the casting they're picking who they want to have sure yeah yeah so i, I noticed uh that uh, I was just on IMDb and Benedict Cumberbatch is listed in the cast. I saw I that. Actually thought that. And I actually thought like in the trailer you see his face, but I thought that was like a deep fake. Like they're actually just pretending that. It looked like movie. a deep fake. It definitely right. is a deep fake. But I wonder if it's actually Benedict Cumberbatch and then they use the other guy's voice. To, I don't, it, I don't so know. So it's interesting. They, uh, they, they, may ha they may have had to make some sort of deal with him though to, right, to, to use, use his, his likeness, likeness. And, and then his name because then you really are talking about him. It couldn't yeah. be a coincidence. Well, I really I hope that. So. What is the line? Stop being Benedict Stop being Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah. <laughs> Until they were hired. I do them. think that like, um, I, I think that there is, it is deep fake and he does look like Benedict Cumberbatch, right? And then they're going to say that line. And then somewhere in the ending of this movie, right. Benedict Cumberbatch up. is going to be in it. He's like yeah. he's like a cameo in, in Cliff B6. Yeah. <laughs> that would be he's amazing. The, he's, the, yeah. he's the beast. He's the Cliff he's Beast. The, he's the cameo yeah. in Cliff he's, Beast. He's the Cliff Beast leader. Yeah. Uh, so. Yes. Oh, man. God, I hope we just spoiled that movie. He'd that be would down. Be I, I'm sure he'd be down. Oh, man. He uh, looks so, like so such good. a good cast. I, I, I so want to run down. I want to run down. Just, just, just how deep uh they went with this so if you go on twitter uh netflix did a twitter where they posted posters and titles and synopsises for all the previous cliff beast films stole it from um, Count con man again we did all of that so stuff. Stole it from the us. first cliff beasts is uh it's just called cliff beast obviously but the tagline is the beasts it. will feast uh which is great um and then the cliff beast 2 re-extinction <laughs> What? Yeah, I'm I'm texting Alan right now. Let Call me put him this in here. Cliff Beast Three, Oceana. So they obviously they had to go underwater for this Cliff Beast. Cliff Beast Four, Beijing Beasts. Wow. And, and there's a uh, let's see, Netflix had Beijing Beasts. Um, oh shit! Did I lose the? I love I it. Lost the. Might have lost the link, but it was like we're not we're not going after that Chinese money. Uh, Cliff Beast Five, Space Fury. So they go into space, and that and now we're on Cliff Beast Six, the Battle for Everest. No, wait, hold on. Cliff Beast Six colon the Battle for Everest colon memories of a re requiem. A requiem. What? what? There's two colons in this title. Like no, the, does that? Not me crying through this retrospective of the entire Cliff Beast saga. <laughs> like. <laughs> This is this is the this is the video that I had um, uh, seen come up on like recommended, and it was because the trailer had come up on my Netflix, the actual like Cliff Beast trailer. So this is them like in character, being like, "Yeah, it's so excited to be back at Cliff Cliff Beast Six, and I'm oh, so yeah, excited yeah. to do my own stunts again and all this kind of shit." It's yeah. fucking so good. Yeah, there's like a three minute yeah video that they put like it's and they there's like CG and they've like actually it looks like they've made these movies like they actually went through the the process of like showing you clips from the old movies and it looks yeah. like it was a real thing it's actually 
Like, and that's what I was saying. Like, way, I, way to go all in on it. Like, I yeah. appreciate that. Like, I'm, I'm very appreciative. Of that. I mean, that's what I was going to tell you. Like, I'm so down. I would, st- I would sit through these five terrible films with the cast they have. I was like, I would sit it. I would do it. Space Fury. I mean, the posters are so good. The posters are just excellent. They've done them so oh, well. Oh, man. I, I love, uh, yeah. Where is it? <laughs> so great. It's, uh, in the, the, <laughs> Oh, here it is. Uh, where Cliff Beast for the Beijing Beast, which finds the Beast a- attacking Beijing for creative re- reasons and not a blatant attempt to reach the Chinese market. <laughs> <laughs> Notably, <laughs> CB4 is also the last one to star Carol Cobb before her departure. Yeah, um, like CB4. Like I love how they use the like acronym. Like it's already like a thing. Like that's yeah. what people call it. CB4. Yeah. So it's they really the good. Whole thing, they shot the whole thing in the UK. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. Well, it takes place in, like, a posh hotel in the UK, yeah. Um, it did look quite British, but then, like, it could have been anywhere. Um, so I didn't yeah. want to say, but, yeah, that's cool. Where? Do you know? I, uh, yep, yeah, I do. Oh. I do. Everyone, go book a stay. They, uh, the Shepperton quote... Studios in UK. Shepperton oh, Studios. Cool. Oh, it's a stu- oh, in the sh- oh, in the studios. Not not oh. the hotel itself. Oh, the hotel. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't hear that part. That's okay. Um, the Vanity, Vanity Fair has a line uh, the bubble centers on behind the scenes drama of making the 6th installment of Cliss Beast Universe the 23rd largest dino franchise ever <laughs> 23rd largest <laughs> that's funny I, I, don't even, so I didn't even great. know there were that many dino franchises that's amazing <laughs> uh, I, I mean yeah, I got it. okay so here's uh, the thing it's apparently inspired by the real life production of Jurassic World Dominion which yeah. faced yeah. numerous pandemic-related delays that forced the cast to remain in the UK, United Kingdom for months. Yeah. And then they all went crazy. Can you yeah. just see Chris Pratt losing his shit? Uh, yeah. With, uh, Bryce Dallas Howard, like, what the fuck? <laughs> God, <laughs> this is real life. Uh, yeah, probably. And but I... he was doing it as Mario voice, hopefully. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, which is just Chris Pratt. Yeah, which is just Chris Pratt. Yeah. It's just going to be Chris Pratt. We all know. Uh, we all know. We've been, we've been working on the voice. Oh, I'm sure you have, Chris Pratt. It's just going to be Chris Pratt, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, it's going to come out it? and it's just going to be you. God, I hope so. <laughs> We're all just going to be like, oh, <laughs> couldn't even try. It'll, it'll be him Him doing his Thor voice is what it'll be. It'll be like. Um, yeah, that'll be it. God. I actually, uh, I, I think he's pretty funny. I think, I think he's great. No, yeah. Not I, I the right like casting for that, but I mean, that's look. Right. What I the mean, fuck do I know, to, eh? I mean, listen, buddy, I'm poking fun because we can. Yeah. Uh, gosh. I, yeah, I mean, I'm excited. I mean, chat, what do you guys think? Are you guys going to watch uh, Cliff Beast 6 or AKA The Bubble? Uh, Matt Kalo, Cliff Beast 7, Into the Cliff first. I like that. That's not bad. Or, <laughs> that is good. Uh, yeah. There's fate not much about the whole production. Sharu, fate of the Cliff Beast, F8. F8, Fate F8. of the Cliff Beast. That's pretty, I like that too. Uh, <clears throat> I'm so watching this, Candace. Yeah. I had Be- Beijing Beast last night at Panda Express. Nice. <laughs> Matt Snyder. Uh, That's good. It looks funny. And yeah, we need a good comedy. Like you said earlier, Like we just need a good comedy to come out. And I don't think I've had, uh, had one in a while. Um, I didn't know this, but the Maria um, Bakalova, Bakalova, um, she's the like the hotel. Um, she works at the hotel. Oh yeah, she's like the fan, that super fan. Yeah, um, she's great, but like she's been nominated for an Oscar for her role in um, the Borat film, Borat subsequent oh, really? movie film. Yeah, she oh, was nominated her. for an Oscar. Yeah. I forgot I about her. That. Um, I, that. I wanted to watch that. Yeah, too. I never watched that either. Yeah, uh, there's, those, those there's clips on YouTube. Oh, she's in it's the Expanse. Oh, yeah, wow. she's she's in a lot. And she's I think she, her first credit was 2015, uh, as a writer or sorry as a an actor. Yeah, so that's fantastic. Um, very cool. This this movie looks like the type <clears throat> of movie I would have loved to work on. You know, like yeah. with such a good cast and they're all fucking hilarious. I really hope they're all really hilarious and lovely people in real life, because that would make everything better. Um, but I can hope. Yeah, I, I can hope. I can yeah. dream. This is the dream cast. Okay. It's fine. Um, yeah, I, this looks like this looks like a film that I would have loved to have been a part of. That looks really funny. It's, looks great to film. Great writing. 
you can tell there's not much about the film to talk about though because like we're running out of things to say but saying it over again it's like it is what it is it's like grab some popcorn hopefully get a laugh Truth. and then you'll forget about it next week yeah and pam Damn brady it. obviously yeah, writes I, I have things to say fun. about this I, it's really good it looks funny <laughs> that's, wait did i really say good it's Ca- funny cast is cast is great looks cast funny is great i'd watch it <laughs> good and then writing you can have a heartfelt moment about is it too soon to make fun Self-work. of COVID? it's still happening <laughs> it's still happening yeah, but i mean it's still happening but it's you know it's on its way down maybe hopefully yes no i don't know i, I hope mean, so you know, i think a it's lot of restrictions forever. have been lifted it's here forever but look out for that new variant it's coming for you uh, don't so say get boosted. that get boosted forever fuck yes and get wear boosted your, wear your masks if you don't feel comfortable do the right things be safe and support ukraine that's that's really all we're here for Fuck yeah! Well, well said. Yeah. Where's your I mean, Where's your applause feature? If I can play the. No. That was actually. I, know, I always forget about that. I always forget about that. I should bring that back more. And PJ's got a lightsaber. <laughs> Listen, buddy, we did Star Wars last week. Oh, I thought that we were doing that next. So. Uh, no, no, no. No, we're all, all gonna right, watch that. Or Kenny Let's next. go home. I gotta go back <laughs> to work. Talk about Star Wars forever. So anyway, if you I do want to talk about Star Wars or anything else, you can go over to Couchup.com. Where there's a community uh, on Circle, so you just need to sign up for free as a free member, or you can choose a pay tier if you'd like. Um, yep. But you can do it for free and then join a community member. And we have a whole Star Wars space where you can nerd out with Star Wars and Ooh, trailer Drew. talk and whatever you want. He lives there. Drew just lives I do. there. Drew lives oh, yeah, there. Yes, lives indeed. There. I live there. It's 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 warm inside. Come, it's like a tauntaun. Like you just cut it. We open should start and... auctioning. These mm, yeah, but the smell Drew. not great. Doesn't yeah. smell great, but it'll keep you alive, kid. I got um, that. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Can, we should can, do it. We should like, do a Star Wars watch I'm movie. Cool. Like do movie night. We movie we night. should do a movie night. That would be fantastic. Let's yeah, let's I'll have bring, a chat about that. I'll bring the popcorn. Absolutely. I mean, I'll bring I'll, the lightsabers. I'll, and then by he actually has lightsabers, folks. That's not a penis joke. I only oh. watch movies in my underwear, though. Yeah, that is a penis joke. That's okay. I only watch movies in my boobies. <laughs> I go. thought you take those everywhere. Yeah. Now sometimes I'll lead them on the couch. <laughs> Just for funsies. That's right. That that doesn't sound right. Um <laughs> All right. Well thank you everybody. Couch soup uh is we're doing a quick AMA later today, so if you remember, uh join us for that live AMA on our circle platform. Yes. Uh thank you everybody. Uh that was Pagan. Uh, and Grouchy Pants, a.k.a. PJ, um, and myself, Drew Lewis, uh, doing Trailer Talk. This episode will be up as a podcast on wherever you can find you, or listen to podcasts, iTunes, Spotify, all that jazz. Uh, so definitely give us a like and or subscribe there as well if you want to kind please, of listen to us. Please, yeah, please, please, desperately do it. Please? Do it. Do it for do it for Pagan because uh, I don't. And you know what? No, do, do it, it for do Stephanie because she's not here. Do it for yeah, Stephanie. Do it for, Stephanie. Do it for not Ukraine. been well lately, so do it for Steph. I don't know. Yeah, do it Steph. for Steph. There it is, Drew. You fucking using Ukraine to get likes on YouTube. Oh my God, that's, we're gonna be canceled. That's now. right, canceled, canceled immediately. Uh, and until then, till we schedule movie night, and uh, we'll be talking about another trailer next week. I don't know what it'll be. If you have any ideas, uh, let us know in the comments or uh, bug bug PJ on Twitter. Uh, till next time. First movie is gonna be Pitch Perfect. Nice. Mm-hmm. Shit, let's go, let's go. Oh, God, let me cut the outro. Oh, God. <laughs>